The tides of war are turning. The Loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army, their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation, and through it, peace. He's asking for you. Hello, Connor. <gasps> Come now. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed, and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives... All are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. Connor, I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. Charles Lee may have been dismissed. But it does not mean we are safe. But the commander? The commander underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what, exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly. So I will go under instead. Incroyable. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever.
Calma. Lafayette promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without fear. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship in a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Mm -hmm. And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Well, what would you have me do? Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from Yorktown.
Until they do. No, oh, this is madness. You're alone, and we're without reinforcements. Full sail. They say you took down that man of war all alone. Perhaps Lafayette did not exaggerate when he spoke of your abilities. As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you require? Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirates killed or goods transported, and instead, you ask for us to... What, shell New York? No. Of course not. Ah. Only part of it. Explain yourself. I mean to infiltrate Fort George, but it is too well guarded. Cannon fire will breach its walls and scatter its guards. And a ship that flies the French flag could never get near it. You understand, then? Not at all. But a promise is a promise, even when made to a lunatic. I will light a signal fire when it is time for you to attack. Vous l'avez entendu. Récupérez leurs drapeaux qu'on puisse les accrocher. Allez, vite <coughs> 